Hey guys, Mr. Gibson here. So um, this week you guys have turned in your interactive notebooks. Hopefully all that went well by the time I'm recording this video. And um, today you are starting a couple of new assignments because we're starting a new topic. This is not a new unit. It's still unit one. We're still talking about the structure of the atom, you know, the protons, the neutrons and electrons. But um, we're starting a new topic where last topic you were learning about the structure itself and you learned about those protons, neutrons, and electrons. This topic, unit 1.2, is going to talk about um, how those parts of the atom were discovered. Believe it or not, what you guys know right now about the atom is more than the entire human race knew about the atom up until like the 1930s. If you know that a neutron exists, you know more than chemists did about the atom until the 1930s, which kind of blows my mind. Hopefully it blows your mind a little bit too. So uh, if you guys ever build a time machine, go back in time, you can just blow people's mind with your knowledge of the atom. So uh, hopefully at this point, you've put the learning targets into your notebook. You've done the hook activity, watch that cool video and answer the questions. And then this is really what I wanted to record this video for, to make sure you guys know what to do with these investigative phenomenon questions. Now, I've changed a couple things up, you may have noticed. This is no longer what's called a material. See this little symbol up here? That's a material, meaning it's not an assignment, it's not something you turn in. And I had kind of just been hoping that we read the instructions and you knew to do that. But I realized, that actually a student pointed it out to me, and I thank him for doing that that unless I post it as an assignment, it doesn't show up on your to-do list for the day. So I'm gonna change my game plan up just a little bit and start posting more things as assignments so that it's a little more clear what you're expected to do. Okay, so uh, you're gonna hopefully watch this video and then you're gonna open the Google slide and follow these instructions. You're gonna copy and paste the slides into the interactive notebook. This time you're only answering this question in the before instruction box. Okay, and again, it is totally fine if you don't know the answer to this because you're going to answer this question three times, once today, once a little bit later, and then once at the end of this topic. Um, and uh, hopefully you see your understanding of that question and the answer to that question grow over time. This is just a way for me to track how your uh, learning is growing and a way for you to track how your own learning is growing. Okay, so let's open this and see what the question is. All right, so how has our understanding of the structure of atoms changed over time? So from uh, the very beginning idea of the, of the atom, the first idea of what an atom even was, all the way up until today where we have a pretty good idea of what an atom is and what makes it up, I want you to kind of answer this question, how has it changed over time? Did it change slowly or rapidly? Um, did it change all at once? We said we one day knew nothing about the atom, the other, Suddenly we woke up and we knew everything about the atom. Or did it happen gradually through multiple discoveries? Uh, I want you to answer that question. Whatever you think it is today, that's okay. And you're going to answer it right here. Okay. Once you've done that, here's what you're going to do. Follow these instructions. You're going to select this. You're going to hit the control button. You can't see my keyboard, but I'm hitting the control button. Hold it down. Click the other one. Boom. You've just selected two slides at the same time. Right click. If you're on a Chromebook, you can't right click traditionally. You have to click with two hands, or not two hands, that'd be weird, two fingers, okay? And you're gonna hit copy, or you can just hit control C and that will copy. You're gonna go to your interactive notebook, which I've pulled up the template here. Yours should be like full of stuff in this unit one tab from the last topic. And this is gonna be unit 1.2. So it's still gonna go under unit one. And you're just gonna paste, look at that, super easy. There's your question. And you can keep it this style, you can keep it this style, it's totally up to you. And then here's this, and your answer again should go right here. And this is the notebook that you're using the whole school year, the one you turned into me and, has, and have had returned, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, hopefully now you're a little bit intrigued as to how the atom was discovered and the fact that you know way more about the atom than scientists did for centuries. Um, and so that you guys can get this into your notebook and you'll be good to go. All right, if you have any questions, email me. Thanks guys.